Rudy strikes with full force before they can leave the forest, Buck entices Rudy away from the group and is almost consumed until Diego saves him at the last second. They momentarily capture him after that, but he manages to get out and continue his attack. The opportune appearance of Mama, who lunges at Rudy and throws him down a cliff before proclaiming her triumph, saves the herd. Buck chooses to join the herd and live on the surface as she and her kids bid Sid farewell because he no longer has a purpose in life because Rudy has left. He changes his mind and sends the herd home after hearing Rudy's distant roar, sealing the entrance to the underground forest in the process to prevent anybody else from entering. Peaches is warmly welcomed by Manny and Ellie, who acknowledge that Sid did a fantastic job caring for Mama's kids, though Manny tells Diego that he will never let Sid babysit Peaches. While Buck stays underground, fighting Rudy, where he wants to be, Diego chooses to stay with the herd. The opening scene of this Ice Age movie features the saber-toothed squirrel Scrat Chris Wedge, who will stop at nothing to get back his prized acorn. This time, when Lou Rawls' song, You'll Never Find Another Love Like Mine, is playing in the background, he falls in love with his female counterpart Scrat Karen Disher, but when the music ends, an acorn emerges in its place. Scrat is thrown to the ground during the two's struggle for the acorn. Scrat and Scrat. The two cling on to the acorn while Scrat tries to save her, and the music resumes. Scrat falls to the ground as she abruptly displays her ability to fly like a flying squirrel. After Scrat saves her from drowning in the lava river while she is asleep, the two eventually fall in love. He even decides to pay more attention to her than the acorn until the very end of the movie, when he gets tired of her fussiness and goes back to his old habits. Following the couple's altercation, a volcanic eruption propels Scrat and the acorn back to the surface, trapping Scrat below. A stray bit of ice, however, falls on Scrat just as he is ready to eat his acorn, causing Scrat to drop it back into Scrat's hands. Having lost both his acorn and Scrat, he cries in anger. 